Number 24. The hydronium ion concentration in a sample of rainwater is found to be 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the concentration of the hydroxide ions in the rainwater? All right. So it looks like they told us that the hydronium ion concentration is 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. So I know that the H plus concentration because that is hydronium. Also, hydronium is H3O+, but I personally like to just use H+, and that is 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. Now, the question is asking us to find the concentration of the hydroxide, and hydroxide is OH-. So I think to myself, I say, do I know any equation that links H plus to OH-? And aha, yes I do. There is one of them, and that is this equation right here. Let's just make that nice and big, right? It's the KW equation. KW equals H plus times OH minus. We want to solve for the OH minus, so that would be labeled as X. The H plus would be 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. But the thing is, they didn't give us a KW value, right? KW is the ionization constant for W is water. But they told us that it was at 25 degrees Celsius. That's room temperature. So whenever they give us 25 degrees Celsius, KW is a standard value. And it's pretty simple. At 25 degrees Celsius, KW is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. No units for KW. We just got to memorize that number at room temp. So now we just plug it in and solve for x. So let's give it a go. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th equals, we'll box that off. We'll put this nice one in blue. And then 1.7 times 10 to the negative 16th, actually to the negative 6. Yep. And now just solve for x, simple algebra, divide by the H plus concentration. So 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6 gets divided on both sides. Cancel this out, and now the x, which was, I guess we'll just say the OH minus, right? And let's just get it done. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6. If I had to make a suggestion, guys, whoop, hold on. Let's just put the answer here first. Uh, so this would be 2 sig fig, so 5.9. Now here's my little suggestion. My suggestion throughout this whole chapter, we're going to be dividing by a lot of scientific notation numbers. So if you aren't comfortable with using the EE button, always put your scientific notation on uh, in parentheses, okay? So if we're not using the EE button, if you're not having like a TI-84 or an 89, if you have scientific notation in the denominator, always use parentheses. That's my little tip. Okay, here's the answer. And that's good enough for me. Beautiful. That's the hydroxide ions. 5.7 times 10 to the negative ninth molarity. Okay, what'd you think, guys? Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let's keep learning. Let's keep working hard. And good luck on your future tests and quizzes. Let me know all about it. All right, love talking to you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.